welcome to my channel Shesa's Crochet. In this tutorial we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful frock for 0 to 6 months old baby which is very nice and beautiful. You will get more flares and a, sk a skirt part when you do uh, more longer. Here I have used the double crochet stitches only. Uh, for this uh, uh, flower tutorial you can go through the link below in the description box so you will be able to know how to make this uh, flower also I have attached here the beads using the embroidery yarn uh, the thread so you can also attach if you wish to have this uh, on the neckline and instead of using the beads for the closure if you can buy the hook uh, from any stationery or the craft shop it is better uh, the baby will not get hurt when it's uh, touch on her skin so let's uh, start this tutorial for this project i have taken two colors of yarn white and black which is 100 percentage acrylic and dk weight the hook size which I'm going to use here is 3mm. We need a scissors just to uh, snip off the yarn and all. Then a needle to weave this um, tail uh, excess yarn into this work. So let's start this project. Let's make a slip knot. And we will make a chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have made here 48 chains let's do two more chain extra one two yarn over into the fourth chain one two three four into the fourth chain we'll insert the hook and we'll make a double crochet one so we have here two double crochets one is a chain and second one is the double crochet stitch which we did now then yarn over and do this next stitch go into the two loops three third one of this is into the fourth yarn over into the fifth yarn over into the sixth yarn over and into the seventh chain means including the chain three chains we have here seven double crochet stitches one two three four five six seven then let's make two chain yarn over into the next chain we'll make one double crochet yarn over into the next one double crochet here we got after the chain two double crochet stitches we want to have 10 double crochet stitches after this two chains Nine, ten. Again, let's make two chain one, two, and to the next stitch or the chain, we'll make one double crochet. This time, we are going to make 14 double crochet stitches, including the first one. So, next is two. 13 and 14 
again let's make chain 2 yarn over and to the next stitch we'll make one double crochet this time we are going to make 10 double crochet stitches one two eight nine and that tenth one is here and then two chain one two yarn over remaining we have here remember one two three four five six seven chains they will make seven double crochet stitches one two three four Seven. So we have here forty-eight double crochet stitches. Seven, seven, ten, fourteen, ten, again forty. I mean seven. For the second round, let's make chain three. One, two, three. Turn the project yarn over into the next stitch. We'll make one double crochet, two, three, four, five, and into this six. So, including this three chain, we got here seven double crochet stitches. Inside this, we are going to make insert yarn over insert the hook into this one double crochet two chain yarn over inside again we'll make one more double crochet again yarn over we have here 10 double crochet stitches we are going to make in this row also 10 double crochet stitches over this so one double crochet one eight nine and 10 yarn over inside this will make one double crochet one chain one double crochet this is our second corner now we are going to continue with the double crochet stitches 14 double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one double crochet inside and then uh, 10 chains I mean 10 double crochet inside this corner one double crochet one chain and again one double crochet then again seven double crochet stitches we have the last double crochet stitch here the three chains so yarn over inside the hook and do this two loops pull the yarn up yarn over pull through the first two loops now we are going to change the color so that will take the second color and that will pull through through this and then chain one two three turn the project we'll keep this white color yarn across this leave this black as it is down then again yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch one double crochet yarn over into the third one double crochet four six seven And into the next eight it will come in here eight double crochets 
and then yarn over inside this chain we'll make one double crochet one chain yarn over again into this one double crochet then yarn over into the next stitch one double crochet So this is our second corner and this was the increase in the previous stitch again yarn over insert the hook into this one double crochet one chain again inside one double crochet then we will continue the same pattern till the end of this row chain 3 turn the project double crochet. so same like this previous row we are going to repeat this into each uh, chain till we reach the corner we will make double crochet stitches inside the space one double crochet one chain one double crochet after completing this row we will change the color again into black we'll do work with black two rows again we will go with the white so same like this we have to continue seven more rounds once we complete the seven more rounds i will meet you here I have finished uh, with the seven rounds of double crochet stitches. We have reached at the end. Now let's do the slip stitch to the other end. One, two, three, into the third chain. We are going to make the slip stitch with the white color. And then chain 3, 1, 2, 3, yarn over into the next stitch, 1 double crochet, 2, 3, same like this, we are going to continue till the next corner, till this point we will be doing the double crochet stitch, yarn over into the next chain also one double crochet yarn over into this corner inside we'll make one double crochet and then chain five one two three four five yarn over we'll go to the next corner that's over here we'll take the next corner and inside this corner we'll make the double crochet here we'll make the double crochet now we have joined the sleeve part again we will continue with the double crochet into the each chain till the end of the next corner And we have reached at the second corner yarn over inside we'll make one double crochet chain five and then we'll make the double crochet inside so yarn over inside this one double crochet again yarn over into the very next stitch one double crochet we'll continue with the double crochet stitch till the end of this row here we have come to the end of this row one double crochet I already finished instead of doing the slip stitch we'll do one more double crochet into the first three chain space one and then we will slip stitch into the third chain one two three here we'll do the slip stitch now we have joined the sleeve our products looks like this the yoke part I'm going to make one chain yarn over into the next chain we'll make one single crochet 
show same like this throughout this round we are going to continue with the single crochet in each uh, chain for three rounds once we finish the three rounds again we will do the double crochet stitches same like this after that I will meet you inside this we will go under the two loops instead of going through one we will go into two loops and we will make a single crochet one two three four five and then into the next stitch one single crochet we'll continue till the end of this row on the other side also we will do in each uh, chain it means five chains are there in between that two uh, in between the sleeve so there also we will do same like this single crochet and we will join with the slip stitch so this is the first row of uh, single crochet two more rounds we'll do with the single crochet and then we'll do as i said before the double crochet we'll, and then we'll join with the slip stitch we'll do the slip stitch into the third chain will be the belt for the frog now let's change the color for that we have to untie this chain 3 1 2 3 yarn over into the next stitch we'll make one double crochet one yarn over two chain one yarn over into the same stitch we'll make three double crochet one two and three yarn over skip two one one two into the third we'll make three double crochet one two three chain one yarn over into the same again we are making three double crochet one two and three again yarn over skip to one two into the third we'll make three double crochet one two three chain one again inside three one two three double crochet so same like this we are going to continue till the end of this row now let's do the slip stitch into the third chain one two three insert the hook into this and pull this white color through this loop and you can make this black down so it will go tighter again chain three one two three yarn over leave the first stitch of each shell and the last stitch of the sh each shell so here we will leave this one we already have one chain or uh, three chains so this uh, consider as a double crochet yarn over inside this one double crochet and inside this shell we'll make one double crochet one more double crochet chain one again inside two double crochet one two yarn over into the next one double crochet over the previous double crochet stitch again yarn over second double crochet stitch on the previous double crochet stitch so here we got we skipped the first and last double crochet stitch and then we did two double crochets 
on this side on the other side also two double crochet inside two double crochet one chain two double crochet again yarn over leave the first double crochet into the second one double crochet into the third one double crochet again yarn over we have reached at the center inside the center one double crochet two double crochet chain one again yarn over one double crochet two double crochet now we have three more double crochet stitches in this shell so yarn over into the next very first stitch we'll do one double crochet into the second we will do one double crochet and then we will leave the last post then yarn over go to the next shell leave the first stitch into the second one double crochet two double crochet inside two double crochet chain one two double crochet and then yarn over into the very next stitch one double crochet into the second stitch one double crochet so we are going to continue with the same pattern till we get our desired length for the project in each shell we will skip the first and last double crochet stitch and over these uh, stitches double crochet stitches we will do the double crochet stitch and inside this chain where we have one chain space inside we will do two double crochet chain one two double crochet in each uh, row so let's continue with the same pattern so friends i have finished here 10 rounds of the same pattern and the double crochet stitches which i made here on the both side is 10 10 in the middle two double crochet chain one and two double crochet if you need more uh, lengthier the frog you can continue with the same pattern leaving the first and last stitch of the double crochet in each shell and doing double crochet stitches and then this middle we will do two double crochet stitch and one chain two double crochet stitch also here i have attached a flower for this flower tutorial link i'll mention in the description box you can go through that and attach uh, pearls on the neckline if you like to uh, attach you can decorate the frog like this now let's do the sleeve part now for the sleeve here i have done the picot stitch same like this we are going to have on the other sleeve also so let's make it this out We will start working from this point where we have the armhole the five chains there from here we will start working let's attach the yarn into this last chain we'll make one chain same stitch we'll make one double uh, single crochet and do the next stitch one single crochet and do the third insert the hook we'll make a single crochet chain three one two three and then into the same space where we made the single crochet here at this point the first chain space sorry there we'll insert the hook and then do the slip stitch into the next chain we'll make one single crochet again into the next chain one single crochet into the third one single crochet one two three and we have the space here and the base there we will insert the hook and pull this yarn through this loop and again through this into the next we'll make one single crochet 
again one single crochet two and three we will insert the hook into this space only here after uh, um, after uh, performing three chains we will insert the hook here in this space so let's make this one one two three and we are going back to the loop which i said earlier here insert the hook through this pull the yarn and then through this we made the picots now we are going to make it a single crochet so same like this we are going to continue till the end of this row until here now let's make into the first single crochet stitch a slip stitch chain one and we'll keep off this yarn Here we have finished our sleeve part. For the closure, uh, I have attached the beads here. So let's make the single crochet stitches on the other end. In these edges, we will make the uh, single crochet. And then uh, to, to insert this bead inside, we will make two chains. For that, Let's insert the hook into the very first chain here. Let's insert the yarn, chain one. We'll make single crochet into the next space one. Two single crochet and then into this bump we'll make one single crochet in between we'll make two single crochet so here one two again in this point we'll make one single crochet after this here we'll make two single crochets one more single crochet now we have reached the beads level here so let's make here two chain one two and to the next bump we'll make one single crochet one two single crochet inside this bump one single crochet then two single crochets one into this two and then in this bump we'll make one again the space two in the space we have to make two I made one now let's make two chain the last one we'll make here and we'll slip stitch into the neckline where we have this one slip stitch and a chain one we'll snip off this yarn Now we got the space to insert the beads as the closure so these excess hands we will keep inside just weave this inside and snip off the excess so here our project is ready I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial, please hit the like button, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.